Ladies and gentlemen, and every other beautiful individual and entity, my name is Maximum Austin, and today we're going to continue our trek through um, the ice climber history of ice climbers uh, in uh, specifically Melee, their second major appearance, and um, we're going to go ahead and have a big adventure. Isn't that doesn't that sound like fun? We're going to go through Melee's adventure mode uh, with the ice climbers in honor of the cold weather um, plaguing the earth right now. It's the sec it's the second ice age, which is very scary. Nah, actually, it's not. But I figured it'd be a fun thing. And here we are in the Mushroom Kingdom. That looks nothing like any Mario game I've seen. Different little shots. And uh, yeah, let's get it started. And with that, with that uh, WG Grinders font. <laughs> so let's get it started. Obviously, probably the adventure mode. Many people like, at least like better aesthetically. It's, uh... We're going through the different uh, Nintendo settings, and uh, we're having, we're causing havoc. See, see, those Goombas weren't doing anything. Just a little fun, little uh, extra thing. As we devour, as we um, destroy our enemies and all who oppose us. But uh, I kind of like this mode. This mode's okay. Sometimes it gets tedious after a while. But I did. I remember, I did beat. Uh, all star all the three uh one player modes uh with every character and got all the respective trophies for it and here's this um when i was younger i did i do remember getting all the trophies uh so. oh my come on come on you dinos i don't care if yoshi hungry yoshi gonna die And obviously, there's a... <clears throat> Just go hang out in the golf course over there. Or... <sighs> Come on. Let's see what I mean. When people mean like their airs, their aerials don't have much impact, their mallets don't really have as much impact as they should. Except for the... Oh, man. Good thing that I was that was a save. Except for uh, like... um When you're... There's, there goes Nana. Except when you're doing smash attacks. Like, this is practically practical. But everything else sort of... Eh. Well, like the normal and the airs, they could use a little bit more impact. I guess this, these are okay. Especially this is useful. So let's just finish the dang level. And see how we did. Good. I'd rather be a hobbyist than a lobbyist, let me tell you. Ho bros before hoes, hobbies before lobbies, let me tell you. And obviously we're fighting uh, Mario and Peach. The, the princess of the Mashroom Kingdom and its protector. A blue collar Italian man. He's not a plumber anymore, Nintendo has confirmed. Which I guess isn't really much of a shocker. He's more like an adventurer now. Just like his his origins, like Mario, the original Donkey Kong was supposed to be like a Popeye game, so he's sort of like that character, sort of like that character type of like classic cartoon, like Popeye, like hi, I, 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 I'm a blue collar worker, then and I and you you step on a trap and then you explode into um heck knows hell knows where. We don't need to say heck, we can say whatever damn thing we want, <laughs> and that's all I'll say. <laughs> Damn it. Is this the PC hour? Is this the weenie hour? No! Get your ass back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done. All for the sake of comedy. And there goes uh, one Mario guy. I believe there are different tiers to swear. <laughs> All right, and here we are in this this interesting stage. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, which I like. The Donkey Kong stages here are fine. In this game, are fine. I dug. I dig them more than any other game. I don't. I know we haven't talked about um, the third, really um, Wii U or 3DS yet, but. Um, 
the Donkey Kong stage in that, it's a cool concept. It's just kind of like the mechanics of it are kind of... But... I know how to do this. And I also know how to do this. Between gold toes, everything sparkles. And mows. Mom, my dad told me to mow the lawn, but I didn't want to get along. So he took me to the store and got me light up sneakers. And hearing that, I read a comment on Twitter uh, about this, um, um, like mom who, um, whose child was very afraid um, to wear light up sneakers to school. And I'm like, and um, earnestly, that, that's, you should, you, when you're a kid, you shouldn't really worry about that, you know? You should enjoy, you should enjoy stuff. You should enjoy light up shoes. <laughs> they light up when you take a step. That's cool. And obviously, um, <laughs> here we have uh, the Zelda stage. This is lots of Zelda 2 love in this game. Um, obviously, we're traversing the, um, the caverns of Hyrule, um, just like in Zelda 2, to find stuff. And we encounter... Uh, some uh, hot elf men <laughs> in uh, these little these little uh, these little segments so it's not all bad so come on dude come on come on spider-man come on link let's see if that does anything there we go I killed a man <laughs> and I'm gonna leave him in this cave these redeads I kn they're they're zombies I know um, they appeared in uh, like uh, as far as I, as far as back as I know, as Ocarina of Time, they're freaking creepy. They scare me, and also that plopping out of there creeps me, <laughs> creeped me out as a kid. But yeah, these are very creepy, um, creepy Zelda monsters, and they're moany. And this is, it wouldn't surprise me if that was a reason why this game has a teen rating. It's sort of like, it's not a defining reason, but it wouldn't surprise me. And obviously, here we are facing um, more links. I guess just something as we traverse uh, the underground cave of Hyrule. But yeah, if you notice, like there's a lot of a lot of uh, Zelda 2 references in this game, and I guess that's appropriate because there was like only six, maybe like seven or eight main Zelda games out at the time. If you don't count the CDI games, and no one does, so and nor should you. We'll go down here. We'll actually go down here. I remember the layout of this quite well. I'm get away from me. Don't touch these small children, you creepy beef jerky man. <laughs> there we go. Found the Triforce. Did I win the game? No? Can I have a wish? I know what I would wish for. You could have your own banana tree. You can buy anything you want for candy. I guess for candy? And obviously, we fight Zelda, the second uh, main character. Uh, the second Zelda uh, character to be featured in the series, along with her uh, transformation, uh, Sheik. Is it a guy or a gal? Well, you know, Sheik can be whatever he wants to be. But, oh, man. Uh, shout out to Junagan. He made um, Austin Lockwood. He made a wonderful video on, like, the gender of Sheik. And I think that has a lot of very, um, very, um interesting sort of little uh, tidbits and uh, ideas in that video um, and I remember him saying like <sighs> the ultimate thesis of that of what I'm getting at is like I wish Nintendo can just do whatever the heck they feel is appropriate but it's ultimately down to their choice I know um, in the years like I think in Japan it's not really a big transgender uh, transsexuality transgender uh, ism I guess that's a term it's not a big deal but in America it is, and it sucks that Nintendo has to, like, change, had to, like, feel like uh, they changed, oh, I can't speak, that they had to change that Z Sheik is, like, this, just this, like, ninja pretty boy to um, just Zelda in disguise, in, like, a literal disguise, and then you have to explain, like, why her chest, like, why the breast, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be smart about this, how her breasts, like, don't, like, get into a pelvis shape that doesn't happen without you, you can't make breasts be that way 
Um, but uh, yeah, it, stink it stinks. I think it's getting better. I wish Nintendo wouldn't necessarily um, made smarter choices and decided just like, hey, just let. Um, I think I think we're the United States and other territories are getting more accepted, are getting more um, acceptive about that. So, and of course, buddy, let me tell you, I have no, I have no dang problem, with whatever gender you are, even if it didn't match the one you were born with. You're more than welcome here. All I ask is you employ the golden rule. Don't be a jerk. And let me see if I can beat Samus before I finish my little, um, little, um, uh, ex little, um, talk about that. And I did. So, yep, there's, go there's Samus. There's Metroid. Bye, Samus. Bye, Metroid. Here, let's, <laughs> let's, um, go ahead and reenact the last, the ending of the first game. And I think any ending to a Metroid game. Let's just run. Let's just jump. Jump for your lives. Jump. Jump like it was a song in the 80s. But they did put a lot of care into this uh, mode. A lot of interesting little tidbits and specific uh, sequences. Little uh, backgrounds. There we go. And obviously, there we go. It's dead. The planet died. Krypton exploded. And I don't know how we got <laughs> how we got um, over there, but I can think of one way. <laughs> no, let's see. We're fighting Kirby, who's a big idiot, who's the worst character in the history of mankind. Bella Swan wishes she can be that just as bad as Kirby. And obviously, I'm kidding. And obviously, we're done with this stage, but not quite. For you see, there is something evil lurking in the atmosphere of Dreamland. And it's cosplayers, the most heinous people. <laughs> I like um, Kirby's. Uh, I like Roy Kirby. He's fun. Also, these are little fun, little stupid little uh, things. And obviously, you have when Kirby like um, copies some some of these characters. Some of them they look unique. Some of them don't. I like how in um, the fourth game. Uh, one of his copy abilities when he um, copies the uh, protagonist of Xenoblade, he's he just gets the sword on his back. I think that's pretty cool. Instead of like his anime, his t his wonderful tussled hair, blonde hair. I can't help think but think of Little Mac. I wish he would have gotten like green hands or like gloves or something instead of just the eyebrows and the uh, black hair. That would have been fun, but he he looks grumpy. So at the very least, when he at the, at the very least, the Ryu one has a head headband, of course. So, and Bayonetta Kirby. Don't get me started. And obviously, we have um, we're here in um, Star Fox Land. Star Fox is dead. Long live the Andross Empire. What you just saw was uh, a clip from our new remake from uh, Nintendo's uh, fourth remake of Star Fox 64 again, because you, because you know, you can't stop remaking games. Capcom can't stop remaking Mega Man, Resident Evil, Street Fighter, Okami now. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. Oh my god. Oh, bye, Nana. <laughs> she gone. She went for a ride. But obviously, um, the different things in adventure modes. Uh, obviously, you have this little uh, part where the R-Wings are like shooting at you guys. At uh, the fighters in the thing. In the Star Fox stage. And obviously, we have this. It's a fun little showcase of Nintendo's of the Nintendo characters that are in this game. Come on down! You're the next contestant on the Price is Right. Let's see how many Pokemon we can get. We have uh, Blossom, Blossom, which I think is a cute Pokemon. It ha it it has flowers. It looks like a hula girl. And that's cute. And too many things. Caesar's cool, cool, cool. Um, um, someone. <laughs> Obviously, you fight uh, Chansey and Wobbuffet's cool. I like Chansey. She, it's, it looks cool. <laughs> Togepi, Snorlax. Togepi, Snorlax. Let's make a poker rap out of the Pokemon that appear. So we have uh, Blossom, Caesar, Charizard, Weezing, Venusaur. Doing a nasty twerk. Where am I? <laughs> Cyndaquil, Pikachu, Pichu. Weezing again, Ice Climbers. Yeah. No. Thanks. Thanks for being there. You're you're my emotional support, and you weren't there. Chikorita, Wobbuffet, Blastoise. Another one. I can hardly understand what this guy's saying. This 
Go get him. Echidna. Echidna Mon. There we go. I... That wasn't fun. Watching people die in fiery explosions, that's quality family entertainment, let me tell you. And let's see how fast we can go. Still going. Still running. Just gotta jump on a platform. Yeah. Watch the sea of F-Zero racers just fly by. And this part is none is not hard at all. You just need to reach the finish, try not to die. Wait for the most opportune moment, and yep. Keep going, you just gotta run. Hopefully we get a new F-Zero game at some point, and hopefully I can get to the end, uh, get to the safe spot. There we go, I think we're gonna be gold. I wanna get that trophy. Do I risk it? I don't know. And I think I can make it to the end. Let's see if I can't, or at least this platform. Oh, that was close. That was very close. And we're there. I feel proud of my I, I feel proud of myself. Do you feel proud of myself? Please leave a comment below as I babble like an idiot. And obviously, here we go, facing Captain Falcon again. Ice climbers versus um uh, the Falcon Man. Who will win? Yeah. No. Who? Lots of craziness going on, but I I like my Smash Brothers like I like my girlfriends. Crazy. <laughs> With a hint of sensible. Gotta balance the checkbook. Darla. I think this was a stage. I think they might have again, I think they might have used assets from like F Zero X. I think this was a um this was a stage in that game, so. Gotta love F Zero. You gotta go fast. I was a kid that likes to go fast. Maybe a little bit too fast. My parents were people that liked too fast. But uh, I don't like to bring that up all that much. And obviously we have Ness. Earthbound is back. Still waiting for a Mother 3 Earthbound 64 release date, but here we are. Um, <laughs> no, um, this game was uh, made uh, when Earthbound or Mother 3 was still in development and that, and for whatever reason, how laboratory and um, company they just decided to move it to the Game Boy Advance. I don't know why, but there you go. We're hanging out with Ness and Co in the drug in front of the drugstore, which is where all conflicts happen. All suburban and neighborhood conflicts happen from the drugstore. I need to play Earthbound just so I can get um, for it's like how it's very it's a unique perspective uh, of American culture. The art style reminds me a lot of Peanuts, and I don't know why, like Charles Schultz Peanuts. And I don't know why, um, but obviously, um, can we get some cultural readings, some uh, academic insight on Earthbound? That'd be great. And here's Icicle Mountain, and obviously in the, this is a stage in the game, but obviously you can see the little creatures that we fought in the NES game. We have the um, penguin, hairy penguin yetis. <laughs> we have the... Uh, we have the screen that would um, shake up uh, upward uh, on knowing on random. We had a Pokeball that'll do nothing. Thanks, Blossom. You know, Bell Awesome, Bello Blossom. You're cute. I think you're I think you're a good Pokemon, but uh, you didn't do anything there. So we'll go ahead and kill the wildlife as we do. Oh no! Oh, ooh, I like this. Let me get that bucket. No! Yes! No again! <laughs> oh, jeez. Someone make a video. Someone link me good videos on Mario and Wario. The uh, Pokemon developer developed a SNES game where you use a mouse to guide Mario. That would be, that'd be cool. It, what would be cool if I didn't die? But, you know, we can't get everything we want in life, Carol. Ah! Slappy with his fan. Like I was a feudal Chinese princess warrior. Which should be the greatest uh, occupational position title. And obviously we're facing the fighting polygon team. 
fighting wireframe team. I don't know where they're, what they're called in this one, but um, they are modeled after Zelda and Captain Falcon. The two humanoid looking um, characters in this game. And uh, I can't see my character. I found them. That's good. And uh, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, ah, we're gonna throw eggs at, where did the egg go? Oh. I think if we play a replay on that, I think my character caught it. My other character caught it out of midair, which is a unique ability, if I do say so myself. And I don't know, some some versions of Battlefield in this, in this game, like, this feels floaty. Like, obviously, you can see me sort of, like, moon jumping on this game. Come on. And uh, in this mode. And there we go. It's done. It's over. They won. They, I mean we. As in my side. Hey, Mario, how did we get into this situation? Beats me, Luigi. The Metal Dummies. That's the greatest uh, Three Stooges um, silent era comedy uh, a series that was uh, never meant to be. No, no. Uh, that should have been a name of like a segment in Futurama of that same idea, but it's like robots. How dare you disrupt my circuits? You just ruined. I expect. I expect these circuit boards to be intact by the end of the night. <laughs> and I and I dread otherwise. If they are ruined, you will deal with the punishments. Circuit boards for the great circus board fights. Thank you. <laughs> Pies in the face. The most. The most. The most. Wonderful of uh, comedic uh, gags. There we go. Let's see if I can't rocket him into space. Hey, you want to be an astronaut, Luigi? Ah! There we go. Now you are. You're dead. Maybe you're maybe you're an astronaut in like the um, metaphysical sense. Here we are. And uh, and for Times New Roman font this time, not um, not the W H Grinders font. <laughs> I say that because there's like a sandwich chain around my area called WH Grinders, and they use a font that's featured in this uh, mode. And I kind of love it. It makes me laugh. And let's see if I can't get to Giga Bowser, which I don't think. I don't know what time we're at right now, but obviously we're facing uh, Punk Rock Bowser right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. And don't worry. We'll be covering that guy. In, a, in uh in the future thank you nana for being there i appreciate it you know i was rooting for you <laughs> let's just use items and cheat it's just sometimes cheaters win believe it or not i always thought these were pills but apparently they're capsules i don't know with that and dragon ball z i don't know if there's like a sort of like thing in Japan where these things exist. Obviously you have the Gashapon and stuff, but uh, yeah. All right, I think this is it. No Giga Bowser for us. No. Nope. And obviously we're happy with ourselves, I guess. We'll just have to return to that next time. On a future date, in a future video, let's appreciate um, the fallen Eskimo children in their Smash Brothers appearances because sometimes Sometimes, uh, the Smash Brothers appearance is, uh, unique from any other appearance in, uh, video games for a character. I'll have you know. Let's see in take two if we can't... I'm just gonna skip it. Everyone skipped this when they were, when they were, uh, playing this game. No one cares. No one cares who makes your games. And here we go with the final video. <laughs> what do we get now? This is a metaphor for something. I just don't know what.